What's up, my friends? My name is Marissa. This is my channel, Divinity Incarnate. I'm so happy to have you guys tuning in here with me. These readings were so fun to do. All right. I am really hoping that these bring through some great clarity, confirmation, and peace to your heart today. This is a friend's or a lover's spread. Would this person on your heart today make a better lover or make a better friend? And let me just preface this as I do in the beginning of each reading today is that this is from the perspective and the lens of your higher self, okay? Not from like, who do you think, you know, or how how do you think this person should be, all right? It's like, well, what does higher self feel like? What role is this person meant to play in your life in terms of um, playing roles that are going to help usher you into the version of yourself that you came here to be, that you are at your core, okay? That's the whole intention of all the readings that I'm doing, that all, all that I do here is like what is going to usher you in the direction of your highest self, okay? That's my offering to this world and to you at this time, okay? So just how you, just if you guys are interested in how I shuffled these cards too, I shuffled many times over and then I would, starting from the top, see which card came first. If it was the two of cups that came first, that tells me you guys would make better friends. If it was the three of cups that came first, that means that you guys would make better, I'm sorry, if it was the two of cups, you'd make better lovers. If it's the three of cups, you make better friends. Okay, so I also want to say before we get into the piles today that I do offer personal readings on my website. I offer breathwork journeys, breathwork containers, um, so breathwork and meditation containers, and then longer journeys where we go deeper into the psyche and the subconscious. Um, if you take a breathwork, uh, a 30 minute container with me, you're going to walk away with several tools of breathwork and meditation that you can, you can use on a daily basis, tools that literally transform your life. And it's, it's so simple. They're so simple. I think it's so, it's too simple that people can, um, that even begin to wrap their minds around how transformative these tools can be just using them five to 10 minutes a day, every day. So simple, um, and huge, uh, long-term life-term <laughs> effects. Okay. Life-term anyways. So I offer everything. If you want to check out my offerings, make sure to head to my descri the des description box and you will be able to find all of my offerings there. You can also subscribe to my newsletter to stay in the loop with group events, live events, online events, all of that jazz. Okay. That's it. No more plugs. So to get into each group today, this is group number one represented by the modern witch tarot. This is group number two, represented by the light seers tarot. I don't know if that's focused. All right, this is group number three, represented by the eight coins tattoo tarot. And group number four is represented by the naked heart tarot. All right. So whenever you guys are feeling ready, we'll hop right into these readings. What's up group number one? Welcome to your reading. Friends or lovers, would this person on your heart be better as a friend or better as a lover? And we're not necessarily coming from the perspective of what we think. We're tuning into the higher purpose, the higher intention of what this dynamic is, because it doesn't really matter what we want from this level if it's not in alignment with how higher self feels we'll be able to grow. If higher self um, of both parties has decided that this would be a match that would help us step even greater into who it is that we came here to be. Um, and there's so many different ways that higher self plans this for us. And I just can't help but feel that the people drawn to my channel are, are at a place in their evolution where they don't necessarily need those heavier um, types of dynamics uh, as much, if not at all. Um, so to get into this reading, it's very clear that the person that you are inquiring about, um, higher self sees this as a good fit for a lover. Honestly, there's a lot of long-term potential, potential that I see here. This is someone that you could really go the distance with. Okay. So, um, what I love so much about this lover's card in particular is, um, when I look at this one, I literally hear this saying a match made in heaven. It just looks like this is an angelic guide that's overseeing this connection. And 
yeah um to have the lovers and the two of cups come up in a romantic reading just really drives home the point that this is someone like this is your person this is someone that um, can meet you where you're at this is someone that loves you wholeheartedly is someone that you can just bear your whole heart on your sleeve and they would be a good person to um, share that with because uh, I feel like we don't always get those reflections in this life we don't always feel like we can show up wholeheartedly and bear our entire soul to someone but I feel like this is someone that you know you guys i like can talk to you forever you guys feel like it's another aspect of you this is a very high level um soulmate dynamic um this is someone where you would be able to reveal your deepest darkest secrets to and um yeah i'm hearing things that you might not have ever told anyone before you'll tell this person or you've already told this person there's such a safety that you guys feel it almost feels like a mirror even if you don't believe in twin flames um, another way of saying that is just a high level soulmate it's someone who um, is on a similar frequency as we are um, they're on a, a similar branch of our soul family tree so to speak and um, they're going to reflect to us the things that we need to see they're like our cosmic mirror so not only are they going to take you to this um, end of the spectrum that is the most blissful um, you know some like something you could never even dreamed of um this is a type of connection that you'll be pinching yourself and asking, is this real? And you'll wake up with so much gratitude is what I'm hearing. Uh, not only do they take you, does your cosmic mirror take you to these, this part of the spectrum, but they'll also invite you to look at the deepest wounds. And that's where the moon energy is coming up. Um, the deepest subconscious drives, um, our deepest fears that we may not know are still, um, following us around. The thing about, um, romantic counterparts is that uh, for the most part our relationships in life um, even if they are like soul family okay even if they're just you know their soul family I shouldn't say just because those relationships are just as beautiful but there's not a whole lot of relationships that can take us to the level of depth that a romantic dynamic can um, and I'm not so sure what and why that is um, entirely, but I have my own ideas and theories, but that's just been my own experience and my own observation is that counterparts, romantic counterparts, especially really good ones, um, it's like the deeper the love, the deeper you will be required to dive into your psyche, to dive into your fears, to dive into those subconscious patternings, those protection mechanisms. And so, yeah, with the King of Wands energy too, this is like really telling me that both of you, like there's like a, a very equal amount of attraction. Um, and this will be an individual that really inspires you to do the work on yourself. They will really inspire you to continue to grow, to be the best version of yourself that you can be. And uh, you guys are both like, this is one of those things, um, group number one, where you guys couldn't help it if, if you tried. You guys couldn't deny, can't deny this connection even if you tried. There's something that continues to draw each other to the other. Um, even if it starts off as something that seems like fairly innocent, I feel like this magnetic attraction just grows as the days go on to where it's really hard for you guys to be apart from one another. It's really hard for you guys to yeah, not be in, in, in each other's energy. This is someone that you feel more full around um, and you don't feel depleted around. And um, I feel like with a type of magnetism that's so clearly that you wield group number one, I feel like it would be safe to say that um, both of you guys tend to be the givers in your relationships. You tend to be the listeners. And I feel that um, this is a dynamic that both of you can acknowledge um, feel is, is, is different on so many levels. But I feel like the main thing that you'll notice is you feel very recharged around this person's energy. Um, you feel very full. You don't feel like you're depleted or that you need to like... Um, spend some time in nature spend some time alone uh, after being with this individual it definitely feels like um, you feel like yeah I don't know how to say it you feel very full um, that you could be around this person forever um, and yeah lastly I do feel that 
there's a lot of potential like there's just so much new versions of yourself so many new versions of yourself that you're going to feel and experience around this person and this is very fruitful like in terms of where you want to go in life in terms of your career in terms of how you want to make money in terms of the places you want to live all the things on the 3d that i feel like you like your dreams your desires um I feel like this person is is going to really compliment you in that way to the point to where maybe you're like really good at certain aspects in life um, that this person lacks and vice versa. But I feel like you'll be very complimentary in terms of how to navigate the 3D plane. You'll have similar values. So if you guys like to be in the corporate world or if one of you does, you know, or maybe one of you um, is like, maybe you have like kind of like an alternative relationship where you um, like the woman wants to be the worker and the man wants to be like the stay-at-home dad that kind of thing where i feel like your values will complement each other and really allow you to both um to create the lives that you've been wanting as individuals and this is like i really see this connection as you both being pieces to a, this puzzle for each other that you didn't know was missing um and i feel like every like so much is going to change or so much will change maybe so much has changed since um being in this person's life uh romantically but i feel like the connection is undeniable even if again at first you weren't sure or at first it seemed very light and very playful again the magnetism will only grow um but this is definitely a faded connection this is not a connection that um you know just none of our connections are but i feel like more than anything like this person you will definitely be able to recognize that in one another like there will be so much gratitude that you both hold for finding each other and yeah i, I was just drawn to the little lighthouse in this picture right when i said that um it's like your hearts created a beacon for one another that drew you two together and this is one of those things where you had to have both been prepared for this connection um you yeah you both were prepared for this um and so if it's been a long time coming if it's felt like to some degree like when is this like why did this take so long um the reason is because you neither one of you would have been ready for the intensity of love that this is going to awaken um within you both wow my alarm just went off i forgot i set an alarm but yeah uh let's take that as a sign for sure um neither one of you would have been ready for the intensity of love that this has awoken and will awaken because you'll your love will only increase as the days go on and um, as the weeks go on and you're meant to take so many adventures together and to explore this earth plane together and this is your person i'm getting a uh, forever person kind of vibes from this connection and um yeah that's i wouldn't say that if i really didn't see that potential um i'm not here to gas people up i'm really here to like well i'm here to gas you up but also to do it in a way that is being truthful and honest as well um but yeah in every way that th this is popping off and um yeah just to, to tie up i just to tie up that thought um this is one of those connections that the love is so intense the love is so deep and it unlocks so much deep-seated trauma and unprocessed stuff that if we weren't at a certain point if you guys weren't at a certain point as individuals in your dynamic um the likelihood that so sabotage mechanisms taking over would have been really high okay it would have been really high that protection mechanisms would have taken over where our actions don't meet our highest intentions or at least um yeah our higher intentions versus our lower primal intentions that were created based off of survival and trauma and just fear and hurt etc so this is perfect don't mess it up okay that's all i'm gonna say um is, don't question this the love they'll have for you the love that you have for them um, this definitely is, um, there's a lot of potential for this to be a very long-term kind of thing and so much mystery, so much adventure, such a deep psychic connection, such a deep understanding of one another, definitely cosmic mirror, someone that you're meant to make the journey with long-term and that you guys are just going to, um, again, it's not going to be easy to say the least, but, um, it's going to be the most rewarding thing you'll ever experience. And the work is just in wearing your heart on your sleeve and going deeper, um, being honest with where you're at, being honest with how you see things. And you'll know this is your person because you can talk about the same thing as many times as you need to to get to the root of your own fears and vice versa. You'll just want to re be the most reassuring 
uh, shoulder they've ever leaned on and vice versa. Um, yeah. And yeah. I could talk forever. And I feel like this is how you'll feel around the person that you could talk to them forever about anything. So group number one, I'm going to leave this reading here for now. If this was your reading, go ahead and leave uh, your favorite moon emoji down below. And yeah, if this did res resonate, if you extracted value from this, please um, like the video so these messages can reach people when and if they need them. And I do hope to see you again soon. Much love, my friends. What's up, group number two? Welcome to your reading. Friends or lovers, would this person on your heart be a better friend or would they make a better lover? And just want to preface this by saying this is not from our perspective that we're tuning into this this is from the perspective of the higher selves involved with this connection okay so that's what we're tuning into and so it's really clear based off of these this spread that you guys would make a really good romantic coupling and i feel like you guys recognize this is a past if, you, if it's not something where you can recognize it as a past life connection, this might be someone that you already know that maybe you've been friends for, or in each other's lives to some degree. And I feel like maybe the uncertainty comes from the fact that you guys might bicker a lot. You guys might not see eye to eye on a lot of things all the time, or it just might feel like you're field your energetic field might just feel a little bit scattered when you're around this person and i feel like the reason for that group number two is might be because there's just old cords of um trauma and wounding that um become active when you're in this person's field um i feel that there is deep recognition of this person um, that goes both ways. There's a deep recognition behind each other's eyes. There's a certain type of safety that you feel to where you can visit these things from the past and feel like seen and feel supported and feel like you're not doing this on your own. What I love so much about this is um, this picture, this imagery is so telling that in her everyday reality, she might be able to walk around seemingly fine. Um, but what's beneath the surface are all of these ties and all of these tethers and these karmic woundings, these karmic knots. And I feel like if there's one thing that might come up in this dynamic, there might be a lot of questioning, is this the right person? Because I feel like you probably feel <laughs> maybe on on one level, like, sure i'm sure there's a certain part of you that feels like you are on top of the world and you can do anything with this person and they probably feel the same way and vice versa but i feel like this person just instigates versions of yourself that you're you like you're not stoked about that um feel really icky to have to revisit and the thing is is that i feel like a lot of connections can't bring you there um this is i feel like there's um, a lot of potential to do deep kind of soul work, the kind of soul work that um, we're all here to do. And um, if I feel like we only get this opportunity, this kind of opportunity to do this depth of work with very few people. Um, and it takes a really special individual that's up to speed with where we're at. And um, yeah, in order to be able to hold us and carry us through um, these types of, uh, you know, wars that we're having within ourselves. I feel like even if it's a, a great connection and even if this person doesn't do anything on the outside to maybe instigate or to trigger the fears, you know, I feel like there's nothing really about them that makes sense why certain patterns are coming up from your past. I'm just, you know, childhood stuff, childhood woundings um, are really going to have the opportunity to to rear their heads in this. And there's a really loud, distracting car that's just went by as I was saying that. And so, um, and it just like kind of irritated me. And so I feel like 
you know, that's something that might come up for you in this connection is, is feeling like an irritation that these things are coming up and why can I come into this? You know, I feel like it's one of those things where you'll go into it feeling really confident. And then before you know it, all of these little insecure, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I just, I get it. Group two. It, it's how it be. It's how it be sometimes. But whether you're like in this relationship and maybe these things are already coming up and you're like, wow, is this even, should I even continue on with this person? Like why? It's almost like you, you wouldn't have to look at these parts of yourself without them. And I feel like in a way too, that might be part of like the arguments that might come up between you guys is like these subconscious fears and anxieties um, and how you guys might, um, how it just might influence the purity of the love. And let me just say group two, it's not influencing the purity of the love. The purity of the love is definitely there. It's been there, I dare I say, for lifetimes. Um, I just feel like both of you have probably been through a lot in this incarnation. And um, as you know, especially during moments where it was you were in your most vulnerable state and so love opens us romantic love really opens us up to this level of vulnerability and therefore allows us to finally revisit these things and so i feel like you guys might be drawn to this reading because it's like wow like on a deeper level i feel all of these things like i feel such a closeness and a purity and an innocence with this person i feel like my inner child is coming alive i feel like i've never felt this way before I feel like I could take on the world I can do anything and then it's like on the other hand there's these parts of yourself that you're being forced to look at that I feel like you maybe you haven't had to look at in a really long time and you're like why like why is this coming up like why am I feeling whatever those things are for you it could be jealousy it could be just feeling insecure about something in general about yourself in general it's like the deeper the love on um, the um the the deeper the unsettlement you'll start to feel I'll say that again, the deeper the love you guys are able to tap into and unearth between one another within your connection, the more unsettled energy you, you might also begin to feel in their presence. And it doesn't mean that it's not a good connection. It just means that you're you're tapping into those deeper levels. Your heart is opening, peeling back layers to a degree that it hasn't in a long time because um, it, it, it closed to a certain extent. And that's one of the reasons why we can go throughout our lives feeling okay um, before we met this person, <laughs> feeling just great and dandy. And then we meet that you met this person and you feel so blissful and like ha it, ha it awakens a part of you um, that is so beyond divine. It awakens heaven within you. Uh, but then you're required to do the work of, of diving into your own personal hell, your own psyche, and those things that have, um, yeah, just those ways in which we've developed that closed heart, right? So we close our heart to a certain degree, and that's why we feel fine, and we're like, wow, yeah, like, I'm ready for love, and then our heart goes beyond the level of where we had it closed, or where we had it before, because it closed down to a certain extent, and, and it begins to peel back those layers, um, the unity of the love, the the depth of this love, um, the purity of this love just peels back those layers. And so I wouldn't be surprised why you guys might be a little confused in this connection um, because you're like, is this toxic? Is this how it's supposed to be? Um, and let me just say that it's only toxic group two when you guys are just pointing at each other's behaviors and when you're making assumptions and when you're not asking questions that's when it becomes toxic is when it becomes about the behavior versus when it's like, Hey, like this happened, this is how I'm interpreting it. I know it's not really about you. Um, and your person will like your, your person, um, especially if it's meant to be a long-term connection, will have no problem, um, diving into these things with you. That's one of the ways you'll really recognize that it's has potential for really long-term that like the long haul is that, um, you'll be able to talk about these like these things as they come up as many times as as is needed. And before you know it, you'll look back and it'll be months later and you'll be like, wow, like, do you remember when this thing was a thing? Do you remember when I used to get upset about this? Do you remember when like this used to be a thing in our dynamic? And you'll just be moving through these these tethers. You'll just be undoing these karmic knots um, so quickly with each other. Um, 
yeah, this is such a beautiful connection. And I do hope and that there's one piece of advice that your guides are reiterating is that um, you're kind of picking up where you left off in some cases. And, um, and again, to keep it communication very open and to, you know, to not let your protection mechanisms um, cause you to not be expressive of your truth, your truth in each moment, which includes those things that we're not proud of. Yeah, in a perfect world, we would have all of these things, all of our traumas, all of these flaws, these things that they're not negative group to you. They're just not fun, right? It's not fun when insecurity comes up. It's not fun when we feel jealous. It's not fun. Like when we, you know, these negative parts of ourselves I just said it's not negative. It's not negative. Um, but these things that we think are negative, it's not fun when they come up. And so we want to work through them. And this is the best opportunity that we have to work through these things um, is when we're able to finally rewrite that narrative within ourselves. And um, we are able to do that through the loving companionship of someone else, right? This feels like a friend. This feels like a lover. This feels like, um, I feel like your friendship is really highlighted here. Um, more so like there's definitely romance for sure, but the friendship is something that I'm really seeing is, is of first and foremost, uh, importance. And that might be how you guys started off. Um, that might be how you guys, um, yeah, just maybe never thought like maybe this person was in your life for some time and you just saw them as like a person or you just saw them as like, you know, it wasn't like you saw this person and was like, you're, wow, like sparks are flying. Um, maybe not for you at least <laughs> or vice versa. Um, but then it's one of those things that creeps up on you. And like, before you know it, you're like, wow, I, I want to spend time with this person. And it's like, okay, I, I want to hang out with this person again. I want to hang out with this person again. Like, and you're just don't want to not be around each other. Um, so I feel like it might be one of those connections that takes you by surprise. Um, but, um, at the same time, like, I feel like once this romantic connection is established and you guys really do start to open up to each other, it's like, you're going to feel like feelings you've never felt before. Um, and like, you can take on the world, both of you and that anything is possible. And it is, it really is. And again, a, a beautiful long-term relationship, a, a relationship that has the potential to be long-term is you guys will be able to talk about things until, until you're blue in the face um, and your partner will want will love nothing more than to reassure you as much as they need to um, because that's how deeply they care for you, how deeply they love you um, and how important you are, how, how deeply they value you as an individual and um, within this connection as well. So I hope I could bring, have brought some clarity and confirmation and peace to your heart today, group number two. Um, if this was your pile, go ahead and leave. Let's see, what are we going to leave? Let's leave, this might be weird, but leave your favorite dog emoji down below. This is one of my favorite six of cups cards, just because it's so sweet. It's so, it's such a beautiful um companion card and just such a sweet nostalgic kind of energy right so yeah and if there's nothing else you want to say and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to all of these things help these messages reach the other souls that need them when they need them and i do hope to see you again soon much love what's up group number three welcome to your reading friends or lovers I just want to preface the, this reading by saying that this is not from our perspective. If this person would make a better friend or lover, I'm tuning into the perspective of your higher self, the perspective of the higher self of the other individual that's on your heart today. And um, yeah, we always want to tune into higher will over our own personal lower will, okay? Because uh, even here I am seeing there's a bit of confusion about this connection for sure. Uh, you're not sure. Yeah, th th and that's probably why this reading found you is because I feel like this person embodies a lot of qualities that you really like like in someone. You really value in an individual. Um, I am getting, however, that this individual you're inquiring about uh, is better as a friend. Um, you would make better friends than lovers. And again, this is from the perspective of the higher self. There's a, a highlight here with temperance and justice that there's like, um, you, I feel like you're in a place where there might just be some scatteredness, uh, group number three, there just might be some scattered energy in your field and you might just have a lot going on right now. Um, 
I feel like you're meeting with all of this major arcana. There's, you're like at a point in your life where I feel like there's a lot of decisions to be made. Okay. And you're learning how to make decisions in big, big and small ways that are going to affect your like long term. And I feel like that might be um, one of the reasons why you're, you're feeling a bit confused right now or, um, why you're unsure about this connection and maybe there's like multiple things multiple people that you're considering um but there is there is an emphasis here from your guides to really just focus on yourself and focus on getting clear within yourself focusing on your own goals focusing on um what will make you uh yeah a better individual a better person um and allow you to just there's so much emphasis here about seeing clearly with this third eye right and temperance can often indicate that there's like imbalances within our field or that there's a lot of noise that needs to settle and um i feel like maybe that's there's also an emphasis here of um in general the guides might be like girl or guy like we do not have the time to be focusing on this, on a love connection right now. And so I feel like at least at this point, your guides are really emphasizing um, that just have fun with people, have fun with um, connections, obviously. Um, don't do anything that's going to have like justice is all about like being aware of the karmic repercussions of the actions we take the reverberations they leave in our field and the fields of others so you know don't do anything in stupid group number three that you know might don't do those things that would be <laughs> um awkward to bring up in conversation with your parents but i just thought that there's a lot of those things that aren't necessarily bad that i wouldn't want to bring up but that i just wouldn't so scratch that but overall it's like um your guides i feel like you're just navigating internal things a lot of internal things okay but i feel like this individual you're inquiring about um i think they do spark things within you that um make you like i feel like it's the confusion is is they just embody qualities that you would want in a partner but i feel like it's just not fully it you know it's not fully there and i think you can feel that too and maybe that's why you um were seeking clarity today because it's like yeah um there's like they're they, you know are confident and they may come across as charismatic and like they know what they want in life and they have their ducks in a row and they might be financially stable they might have like a good career or be an entrepreneur like there's little things, there's a lot of things that check the boxes. I feel like if you were to, you know, pin those boxes or to hold them up, you know, like hold this checklist up by what society would deem as like a good fit, but energetically, it's just not there. You know, sparks are not flying. I feel like maybe initially there might've been a little bit of like that initial fun flirtatiousness or whatever, but I feel like nothing um, that would leave you feeling long-term like sparks or um, like, yeah, being able to like deepen into love in a romantic sense. But I feel like they um, are a good friend to you because they do create a good example for you. There's someone that's really going to push you in a good direction. There's someone that I feel like... Um, overall they're a, just a good person and they have a true heart and they're hard working as well and um they are someone that i feel like is really like passionate about their own goals and where they want to go in life and they really know what they want um and so i think that's a good influence to have in your life um and i feel like overall they're just someone that for the most part seems really level-headed and um like they yeah, they seem level-headed and just like like a pretty balanced individual. You know, no one's perfect on this planet. It wouldn't be relevant for the human experience. Um, but yeah, I feel like they'd make a great friend. They're a good friend to you in terms of, I feel like you can, guys can just talk about um, the things that 
uh, feel like you t- talk about your values, you talk about your morals, um, you talk about where you want to go in life. And maybe to some degree, it seems like you guys have similar values and similar um, goals and similar, like a similar direction that you want to go. Um, but trust the feeling of it not being fully there because I feel like, you know, if, if you're, you know, you would know. <laughs> I feel like there's no uh, questioning. And it's like, a good way to really tell the difference is, yeah, sometimes I feel like we do have those friends that like we want to keep connecting with and spending time with. But if there is this underlying sense of like still like a kind of like emptiness in their presence, um, then I feel like that's a good indication or like it feels like you're like, I should be somewhere else. If your body is like pulling you somewhere else or you feel depleted around them in any way, you know, um, friends can do that as well. Uh, but in my experience and my observation um, when it comes to a romantic counterpart, uh, especially like your person, there's definitely nowhere else that you really want to be. And it, there's a sense of like homeliness that you feel around this person. And um, it's different from the comfortability I feel like you're feeling with this, with group number three. Uh, you feel comfortable for sure to, to be yourself. Um, and so maybe to some degree you're like, wow, like this is how it should be. And like, yeah, absolutely. Um, but there's like a different sense, like, uh, the connection I feel like you're longing for is the connection where it does feel like it's your home base. Like this is your sanctuary. This is your person that you return to you and they refill your cup and you refill theirs, et cetera. I just don't feel like this is the time group three, if I'm being completely honest, but it's not to say that this is not a great friend or this person has the potential to be a good friend in your life. I feel like, um, just overall your guides are, um, that are overseeing both of these connections are just reiterating that you're both like really working on your goals, your dreams, your vision. Um, I feel like neither one of you are really in a place to entertain anything romantic at this point. Um, nothing serious at least. And, but I do feel like you guys push each other to be like better people. And, um, it's cool. Both of you, it's pretty cool for both of you to know that there's other humans that are on the same wavelength as you to some extent, uh, the definitely soul family vibes that I'm getting where you're exploring similar things. But I feel like higher self is just like, I feel it. Like I can feel it in my bones when I like look at these images and when I'm tuning into this reading, like I can feel it in my heart. Like there's sure a good loving, um, energy, a good loving air between you two, um, or bet- yeah, between the, within this connection, but it's, it's not the kind of like depth of like, um, the deep, beautiful and just sweet and nurturing and just, um, yeah, the connection that I feel like you're learning for, I, uh, yearning for, it does feel like something's missing. And when you're with your person and you find, you know, Uh, your romantic romantic counterpart for however length of time you're meant to be with each other it doesn't feel like anything's missing so I would just be aware of that like um when you're around this person does it still feel like there's kind of like an emptiness right and when you're with this person is there anyone else that you're able to think about (laughs) right because I feel like when we're in a romantic counterpart dynamic um a, a true high level cosmic mirror kind of connection that i feel like you guys are looking for yearning for you can feel is meant for you in this life um no one else you know I, there's no one else that will stand out in the way that this person will and it's like you'll be with other people and still thinking about that person you know the counterpart the cosmic mirror so to speak so if there's still like this this mm, something just feels like it's not quite fulfilled here um, that's a good indication, even if they can check all the boxes on other levels. Right. But, um, that's a different story for a different day because your guides are like group three is really putting their head down and, and getting right within themselves and reaching a, um, greater sense of equilibrium, equilibrium within yourself. Group three is what your guides want you to focus on. And, um, yeah. And just continuing to, to align with versions of yourself that are, more and more aligned, right? Opening yourself up to come into greater alignment with your um, higher self, with your celestial soul, so to speak. And that is going to attract to you all the people that need to be there um, and all the ways they need to be there, right? That's like what's meant for you is not going to pass you by. And it's also not going to be something that um, I feel like 
it's, I feel like it's normal to question certain things on a certain level when you're in certain types of connections just because the mind and its protection mechanisms, but like a deeper part of you will not question, right? So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to leave this reading here for now. I hope this brought clarity, confirmation, and peace to your heart today. If this was your reading, go ahead and leave that justice scale, um, a scale emoji down in the comment section if there's nothing else you want to leave. If this video brought clarity and confirmation, please do give it a like. This all helps people receive the validating and healing messages they need when they need them. And yeah, I do hope to see you again soon. Much love. What's up group four? Welcome to your reading, friends or lovers. Would this individual on your heart make a better friend or a better lover? And I just want to reiterate, this is not from our perspective here on the earth plane. This is from the perspective of our higher self, okay? And the higher selves involved with this connection. And if it's not clear and blatantly obvious, as I'm sure you feel in this connection, which I'm not sure why you guys came to this reading, because this is a very blatantly obvious kind of connection, um, you guys are definitely destined to be lovers in this life. This is the naked heart tarot. So um, this is like an extra card. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This is the, an extra card. And it just talks about being in alignment with your higher self. And I really feel like I would dare to say that, I mean, like you couldn't be you could not become who it is you're meant to be in this life without this person. Okay, I, I dare to say that. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is like your forever person. This is someone that even if you didn't believe in twin flames before, you probably believe in them now because they are your mirror. They are your cosmic mirror. They are uh, your twin in so many ways, you guys. It, 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 like You can be sure that the, the things that you feel about this person they feel about you. The things that you're afraid of happening in this connection, they're afraid of similar things. The things you know you would never do to sacrifice the purity and the love within this connection, they're on the same page with that. Um, I feel like the reason you might be questioning this connection, however, is it might require you to make some big changes in your life to some degree. Your sense of stability or foundation to some degree um, might have to change. Um, and it might require you walking away from one thing, um, maybe even one person or just like a situation in general, like just, just you're going on a new journey. Okay. The highlight here is like going on a new journey. Um, and it just might scare you. Like you might just be walking away from a sense of foundation that you've established, um, within your life as it is. You might be walking away from a certain living arrangement and already like wanting to move in with this person or something. Um, six of swords always tells a story that it's going to turn out better than we can even expect and to trust the flow. Um, all of these cards really, especially the, the three middle cards and most of these cards, the last one too, all of them really talk about the necessity to like follow your excitement, follow where your heart is pulling you towards and to trust that. Um, yeah. And so this, oh my gosh, yes, this person is who you've been missing. Cause I was just, I was guided to the fact that what makes, what brings us to the 10, because all the minor arcana is about bringing us to the 10, right? That's the completion of a cycle. So you start with the ACE and you work to the 10. So what's missing in the eight is the two. All right. And you found it with this person. I feel like this is what you've been like looking for. And, and um, it's funny, even if you didn't know you were looking for it, they're here. And what's so beautiful and, and something I've come to terms with in my, my own life is like when you're in spiritual communities and most people that tune into tarot are like also very spiritual naturally, but like there's this whole thing about like not being attached to people and, you know, be being whole yourself first. And, and that's the truth of it. We already are those things. We already are whole ourselves first. You can't get more whole than you already are. And there is something to say about just honoring what your genuine experience is. Doesn't matter if all the spiritual teachers in the world are saying, this is how it should be, or all the people you admire, all the teachers, is this is how it should be. Like, what does your authentic experience tell you? And maybe that's part of, of, part of what scares you a little bit, is that you've never felt so like more whole in the presence of this person or that's where this connection is headed for sure as like it's it's a sense of comfort and home and stability and groundedness that you've never experienced before to where even just being in this person's presence is enough to just make you feel content to remind you that everything's going to be good in life 
Um, I really deeply feel that both of you could not become the people that you are meant to become without the other in your life. And um, like this is such a high level connection, you guys. This is such a pure connection, such a beautiful connection to where you can wear your heart on your sleeve. This person wants to take care of your heart. This person like has the same heart as you. Um, and so if you, if there's ever a question like about how deeply they feel for you, tune into how deeply you feel for them. And I wouldn't be, and you guys are on the same page. If not like, yeah, I feel like you're like, I literally could not love someone more. And they're like, same, like, I feel like this is someone that you guys would be so expressive of your love. This is a person you're just going to express your love to each other so much, like your undying love. There's a deep sense of romance. Like there's definitely a friendship that's high, that's here, but what's highlighted is, is this romance, this true love, um, this connection, um, is, is yeah, it's definitely one of those things where people can feel your guys's connection when they're around you they can feel how much you love each other they can just feel it they don't even you guys don't even have to do anything in particular but i wouldn't be surprised if there's not some a good amount i would be surprised if there's not a good amount of uh, pda in your connection just because like i just feel like you guys are just swooning for each other and this is a type of thing like don't believe the hype and the bullshit of of like um the honeymoon phase like your whole connection with this person your whole relationship is going to feel like a honeymoon phase um but it's never ending right it's like it's one of those things where i feel like you guys may have been through a lot and have had a lot of painful endings and challenges in your life and and grief a lot of grief and loss and um i feel like because so you really recognize this special thing that you've had and maybe you never thought you'd come across this type of connection and so maybe that might be why you guys both feel this deep sense of like specialness um with like when you're in the presence of each other and why you can acknowledge it is because this is not a connection that comes around often my friends like maybe once I feel in a life like this type of connection maybe comes around like this type of purity of heart that both of you guys exude. Um, if there was any part of you that is surprised by this connection, I just feel like the surprise comes from the fact that you never thought you could like find someone that is able to love to the degree that you are. This is someone that will continue to surprise you that will tell you how much you mean to them. This is someone that like just like pours their love into you and you are going to pour your love back. It, it feels like a very open hearted connection. And what's so beautiful about that is like you guys can help fill each other's cups where it's not getting around when you get around some people that have kind of a closed heart and um, like it, you can feel that. And so you're pouring into them and there's not a reciprocation. I feel like both of you guys will be able to acknowledge you don't feel that you don't tend to feel that way with a lot of people, but you feel that way with each other where there's like this equal pouring unto each other. And, um, when things do come up between you guys, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised in this type of connection. You're going to have shit come up, higher selves brought you two together. So you have a lot of work to do together. Um, but I feel like overall, um, you'll be able to just like be just you could just talk endlessly to this person and just tell them how much you love them and never get tired of it and um something that's also just came up came through from your guides is that your guys's connection is meant to inspire the world okay your guys's connection is meant to inspire others um to a big degree and your love is going to change this world on in big and small ways okay and i feel like maybe in some way you guys are going to do work together on this planet um, and maybe in some ways just having someone to return to you that uh, is as as open of a heart and where, you know, like you guys, it's like you already have open hearts, but there's something to say when like you can actually like keep your heart open and like bear all of your heart and soul to someone and really trust them. Okay, and to not feel like there's ulterior motives for someone else or to feel like you're going to be shot down or like someone is going to use your insecurities or your flaws or your, you know, um, the things that make you feel weak against you. Okay, but um, this is someone that you can bear it all to and they're only going to love you more. Like the things that you feel like you are un not proud of, like there's nothing they would change about you and they feel so honored and vice versa to be able to be the person to help heal these aspects 
Like this is like a true connection where um, the love is is so transformative that like things that maybe you've been holding on for such a long time that have been hard to overcome within yourself, like this is the container, the loving container that is going to help transmute those things. Um, and again, it's like, we don't have to do it alone. We're not meant to do this, these things alone. Like, that can be something in the spiritual community too. And maybe that's one of the reasons why you're um, drawn to this reading is because you like, maybe there's a fear of like becoming too attached or something. Um, but you know, we wouldn't be here with all of these other souls. If, if this is what we're here for <laughs> is to see, you know, the infinite, um, array of God incarnate, divinity incarnate, right around us. And this is not a journey we're meant to make alone. Um, and I do feel like your guys's connection like you're meant to do big things with this person, right? This is something where you guys are really like, it's going to be a beautiful unfolding, a beautiful adventure. And um, again, people can just feel the purity and, and the depth of love that you have. Like just being in your guys's presence is healing. Um, just being in your guys's like field together is healing because you guys really do just bring out the best in one another. And if anything, um, wouldn't be surprised if there's just like little things to iron out, right? When it, when you find this intensity of love, this type of mirror, there are, um, you know, planetary, um, karmic shit, there's planetary karmic knots to undo. And so, um, I feel, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like, I can't lose this person. Like I don't want to lose, you know, like there's an acknowledgement of like, you want to do the right thing. You want to do the, do right by them. But at the same time, you know, don't be surprised if like you feel all of these things, but then there's also like a deep fear of like losing them. And so jealousy might be a thing and, you know, just different insecurities that, um, you probably wouldn't experience if this person wasn't in your life truly. And it doesn't mean because you feel those things that they're not meant to be in your life. It's just, they're bringing you to a point that literally no one else can bring you to group four. Like this is a very high level counterpart dynamic and I know you're going to do the right thing and this feels like a forever person kind of thing um, and things are going to turn out great for you guys um, um, you guys are moving in a good direction moving in the right direction trust the flow trust where you're guided and let this love just transform you let it absolutely transform you let yourself surrender in all the ways and just become even more tender release your protection mechanisms do your best to just stay clear with each other talk about things as much as you need to talk about them as many times over as this person wants to hold you through all of those things that um, have been weighing your heart down and i know you would do the same for this person but this is like such a lovely juicy beautiful connection um created by the gods themselves <laughs> like truly if there was ever um, anything so clear and obvious, it's this. And that's how this person, um, this is how you recognize them is because it, it's so obvious to you. Um, it's so obvious to them that like, wow, like we found each other. Like that's how I feel like you guys will just be so grateful throughout your connection and say that like, I'm so glad I found you. I'm so glad I finally found you. Cause it's like before then there was like, before you were with this person, I feel like there was an emptiness that you felt in the presence of everyone else and vice versa. And, and you, I feel like coming into this union, you'll notice that you, you will not feel that anymore. You will not feel that sense of longing anymore because your hearts were beacons for each other. Your hearts were um, longing for each other. And it, made you guys both go on journeys and surpass mountaintops and lead you on this journey that you guys didn't even know you were going and um, it led you to one another and now the adventure really begins right and i can only imagine what you guys are going to do together what your love is going to create in this world and this is just so beautiful and i'm i'm honored to be able to have tapped into this beautiful energy today if this was your reading um go ahead and leave like i don't know if i already did a heart emoji but like leave all the hearts, like just leave. There's like three hearts, four hearts just highlighted in these short cards. These, I mean, the small spread alone, there's so much love is what it is. There's so much love and it's obvious to everyone. It's obvious to you. And yeah, I'm just stoked for you. This is the connections like these are extremely rare. All right. Once in a lifetime, I truly believe. So do well with it. Much love friends.